In today's video, we're checking out EnjoyBot's 100 amp hour battery that now comes with low temperature cutoff protection, which is a great add-on for this battery, which this makes it great for your RV or if you need an extra boat battery or even off-grid applications such as small houses. This 100 amp hour battery will provide 1280 watt hours of power, which basically is the same as this EcoFlow Delta that I happen to have. Now this happens to have basically a 100 amp hour battery inside of it. But these are a lot more expensive because they have their own built-in charge controller and they also have their own inverter in it to provide power. That's why it's basically a power station built off of a 100 amp battery like this. But we're gonna do some testing on this battery real quick. But what we're not gonna do is a load test or even a capacity test because several other videos have been done where the capacity actually has been exceeded. So that's one of the great reasons to test out this battery and to see if it does have the low temp charging cutoff. So we'll be looking in here for two cents Sensors, basically a high temp and a low temp and then we'll see if it actually works on both sides and to make sure that the advertisement is correct so we'll pop the seal on this battery real quick and hopefully it comes apart clean all right pop this off real quick that came off pretty good we're gonna go ahead and disconnect these battery cables and these do come with M8 millimeter bolts. So these are actually pretty good. You can definitely put a lot of ring terminals on here. They are long enough. So this is another nice thing about this battery. Now, since this does have a 100 amp discharge current, we're gonna tape this up real quick just for protection. And now we gotta pull this out of here because it's glued. Give me another tug here real quick, hold on. Almost out of there. All right, look at that. All right, there's a little box. Put that off to the side. Now we got to get this shrink wrap off. We'll just cut this off real quick. And then you can see that epoxy board underneath. We'll go ahead and cut that out of the way too. So just a little slice, get the tape off, and we can open this up. All right, as we take a closer look at this battery, this is probably one of the reasons Will Prowse actually likes these batteries as well, because their cable management is good. You can see all the balance leads are wrapped up in the wire wrap. And also not to mention, they use heat shrink and good crimps on the battery cables as well, which is eight gauge. And also not to mention the bus bar management is fine as well. So these are good quality cells, not to mention, and plus they have a good BMS. So we'll pop this open real quick so we can see it. Pop this out of the way now that we have this out so this is what we're looking for as you see the balance leads up there the red wires but we're going after the two black ones that's going to have our low temp and high temp so if that really does work well then you know this really is a cool battery and this is one of the things that actually will was looking for he's like if they added a cold temp or you know low temp charging protection to these this would really make this a best buy battery so let's test it out Okay, so I have a simple charging setup right here. I have my solar panel that's going into the charge controller. And then from here, it goes into a little kind of a battery meter so we can see how many watts are going into the lithium battery. And then that'll shut off when the high temp or low temp kicks in. And the reason you want to have that low temp is if you happen to be charging up a lithium ion battery that happens to be maybe plugged into your RV or a small off-grid cabin and such, you want it to shut off because low temperatures can permanently damage the cells and then you've basically burnt a real high dollar battery. So that's why a low temp cutoff is important either on the battery or your charge controller. So make sure you have one of the two if you live in cold temperatures. Okay, so we're going to try the high temp cutoff first. We'll use a heat gun. Keep an eye on the meter over there. It should go off here in a few seconds if this truly does work, which it should. And it's still pumping out. And actually, there it goes. So there's a the high temp cutoff. So it stopped charging. So now what we'll do is we'll kind of reset, let the battery start charging again. And this is what we're looking for on the low temp sensor as long as this other wire is a low temp. Okay, so I have some ice water here, and this is, I added some salt too, that way it would be colder because it is pretty hot outside, it's like 90 degrees, so it'll probably take like, oh, maybe a good minute for this to shut off, so we'll see. I'm gonna stir it around a little bit, make sure I get it down there towards the bottom where it's maybe a little colder. And I'll even speed up the video if this does take too long, but I'll get my little laser gun here real quick and we'll check the temp. This is supposed to shut off if it's 32 degrees or zero degrees Celsius, so, uh, with the water being this cold, it should actually shut off. So we are cold enough. We'll kind of just let it sit here, stir it around. Hopefully this shuts off in a minute or else it actually isn't a low temp cutoff. Oh, and look at that. There it goes. Okay, so it does have the low temp sensor in it as well. So totally cool. 
So, I mean, for this price, for this battery at 399 bucks, and it did shut off, which I bet if I just sit here and rub that wire a little bit, it would probably kick right back up because it is so hot. But, I mean, this is one of the things, again, like I was saying that uh, Will was wondering, is that, you know, if you added a low temp charge or disconnect to this thing, this would really make it a great battery to buy. So now this actually puts it on, like, you know, some of the top couple batteries that you should be looking at buying, especially for the price. And not to mention these batteries come with a 10-year warranty now on them. It's hard not to consider these. So let me know in the comments what you guys think below. And I have links in the description below of the and 200 and 300 amp hour batteries now with low temp cutoff so be sure to smash the like button and subscribe and until then i hope to see you guys next time